Fiji Sports Fans. We are back with the fifth episode of Weekly PGIS. We are on the home stretch of PGIS, so please keep watching until the very end. Now, let's check out what happened in Week 4 Weekly Final. As always, the Week 4 Weekly Final was an intense competition for points. At first, they trade gaming took an early lead. Scoring 54 points in 5 matches in day 1 are them the PGI's records for most points on the first day of weekly final. However, as we headed into day 2, the rankings totally changed. As MCG kept scoring kills, they started taking a lead in the kill points. Digital athletes also scored a ton of points by winning several engagements and were able to keep their name at the top of the list. When the dust settled, the Week 4 champion was decided in the 10th and final match. But Infantry, Day Trade Gaming and Multi-Circle Gaming who were going for the win quickly got eliminated. Now, the teams that were going for the prize money of 150000 were just two teams, Janice and Digital Athletes. Although they fought hard until the bitter end by knocking Kickstart first, Genesis' seventh match victory repeated itself as they became the final winners of Week 4 Weekly Final. With a total prize money of about 350000 including crowdfunding. Let me introduce the team with the most electric fun wins in PGIS is Janice! Hi. Hello! Hi, welcome! Hello. Hello. <laughs> Good to see you here. So, uh, would you please say hello to your fans first? Hi, I'm Shin Boy. Thanks for all the support and the ticket votes. Hi, I'm uh, Kickstart from Zenith, and uh, thanks for all the support, guys. Hi, I'm Poonage, and I'm the guy that gets this guy all his double digit games. <laughs> <laughs> and hi, I'm Roth, and uh, thank you guys for the, the support. It's been amazing. So, you guys don't have uh, an experience of winning PCS North America, and your support and pick em challenge fell a little behind other NA teams. But by winning the weekly final this week, for the first time from your region, you've changed everything. So, how does it feel to win? <laughs> it, well, it feels, it feels great to be honest. You know, being here and performing this well is just, just feels amazing. Honestly, I'm just really proud of like all four of us because the mentality on our team for the first uh, three weeks was iffy, but like we were always trying our best and we really just brought it together this last week. So bringing that into a win feels is absolutely surreal. Thank you for the answer. So you check out uh, your teammates kill count at the point. So why did you check it out and what did you guys talk about? During, at the the, um, during the weekly survival, right? Yeah. Uh, so, I don't have much familiarity with the theory of two in uh -huh. Korea, but I was made aware of it because we had the most second places. And so our team handler, Andy, was making a lot of jokes about it and saying there's a big theory behind, you know, in Korea, two. And, you know, on the second day of the week, we got a 22 kill win. We have the most second places. Yeah. And then in the game that we qualified this week, we had each of us had two kills. Right. So it was hilarious, and we're all looking around <laughs> laughing, and we're all like, two, two, two. Mm -hmm. And uh, we love that the fans have something to laugh with us about, and <laughs> at the end of the day, uh, you, you know, we love all the support. Okay, cool. And now let's move into the weekly final. We have a few scenes we've prepared. Uh, let's start with match seven. Um, Punish, you used multis and flashbacks. In a perfectly. So, did you guys distribute the items in advance, or you just had on your hands? Uh, so, I picked up all the Molotovs from the bodies right under us. I think it was T1's bodies, uh -huh. and uh, I had zero util or zero throwables mm -hmm. uh, before I looted the bodies. And I I knew that we needed to push right, so I just used all of my Molotovs before we pushed, mm. and then we pushed around after that. Oh, and now we have a scene prepared. Let's see. So you guys fought DA once again in the end of the match. And did you know how close each of your scores were? We, we paid attention to that coming into the final. We knew that there were probably about seven to eight teams that had a chance to, to win, depending on what MCG had done. Yeah. Once we saw kill feed, we knew that Ents had cleaned up a lot of the top contending teams, and we knew DA was still four strong. Once Ents had died, we knew it was a 4v4, mm -hmm. and, and we knew that it was going to come down to the winner takes it all. Yeah. And at the end of the day, uh, we're confident in ourselves, and we're confident in this team to, to frag against anybody. So I, I don't think there was ever a doubt in my mind that we were going to come out on top. Mm. 
And in the last engagement, Kickstart, you were the first to get knocked. Uh, what were you feeling then, knowing 150,000 on the line? <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously in the moment, like I wasn't thinking about the money. I was just thinking about winning the game, and then I got knocked, and it was I was pretty I was pretty sad. But then I, I saw two blue tags in the top right, so I was like, oh, we could still win. Like we could do it. That's what happened. So. Uh, I think that when you're in that moment, uh, you're not thinking about the money, you're not thinking about anything, your goal is to win the game. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been in that scenario a million times, as you can tell, we've been second place a lot. <laughs> uh, and so we've, ha we've been on the, the losing end, mm -hmm. and so we've dealt with the adversity, we understand how we want to move forward, and I think we're getting a lot better at closing those games out, and we're looking forward to the last couple weeks. So you guys held uh, only $2,000 just before starting week four weekly final, but now in the first place, uh, over $350,000, including the crowdfunding. Now, as the team that's aiming for number one and number two, how determined will you be going forward? So obviously <laughs> at the end of week four, we find ourselves in first place. Had a great, a great week. Um, going forward, we're looking to maintain our first place and uh, specifically, our goals are to finish, you know, top four in the next two weeks and get some early victories in the next uh, two survival, survival weeklies. Yeah, I mean, we we won obviously, but um, I don't think anyone's like done playing yet. So there's what two more two more weeks left, and uh, obviously we want to win some more money. So that's what we're gonna try to do. Honestly, like it's a it's a huge relief to know that we're gonna walk away from this tournament with something, and I mean it's something, it's a lot. And uh, I mean, there's nothing else to do these last couple of weeks, but just give it our best and no pressure, just perform. Mm. If you're not here to be the best team and finish in first, then you're not here for the right reasons. The money is great, but you want to walk away from this the champion. Oh. Uh, no amount of money changes that, right? You want to be able to go at the end of the day and say, hey, we were the best team in the world. Wow. So that's our goal. It's really cool. <laughs> okay. So this is the end of our interview today. Thank you for coming and good luck with your fifth week of PGIS. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> now we only have two weekly series left. So the week five weekly survival are valuable opportunity to win the prize money. Let's take a look at some notable teams for this week. Although Dominic Kia came in third place in Week 3 Bottom 16, they failed to advance to Week 4 Weekly Final. But their performance in Week 4 Bottom 16 clearly shows some important things to look at. It seems like the biggest reason for that is under from Dominic Kia. Compared to last week, his total damage went up by about 1,000 and his kills nearly doubled. Another change that Dom and Kia made was that their vehicle travel time decreased. In the week 3 bottom 16, Dom and Kia traveled about 45.2 kilometers in vehicles. But in week 4, they only went about 36 kilometers. It's fair to say that their time spent hovering outside the circle has decreased. So, with this different play style, I'm looking for seeing them advance to the weekly final for the first time. We also need to keep an eye on Marty Circle Gaming, who narrowly missed winning the Week 4 Weekly Final. The fact is, this team's performance is getting better and better every week. In last three Weekly Finals, MCG came in 15th, 5th, and 3rd place. In Week 4 especially, they scored more kill points than Janice, who ended up winning. Ibuli is the player who stands out the most. He put up over 3,000 damage and scored the most kills on his team while leading the way for Marty Circle Gaming's attack. Another thing that stands out is their intelligent movements. Lingu's assassination or Tang's chameleon move are good examples. Another team that we need to keep an eye on is probably Digital Athletes. Although it was their first time in weekly final, they really proved themselves by finishing in second place. Good Marco and Smash especially showed great performances. Both of them put up over 3,000 damage and had 25 kills between them. In 10 matches, they made it to the top 4 5 times, which shows that the execution that they need to secure points is excellent. Before the Week 4 Weekly Final, Digital Athletes has no prize money, but they are standing as a third place with $170,000. And we still have two weekly
basically final lap, and the prize money is just getting bigger. Let's see what kind of dramatic changes in ranking will happen in two remaining matches. So, which team is going to make it through the week 5 weekly survival? And remember, the prize money for this week's weekly final is $300,000. Of course, excluding crowdfunding. And don't forget that the Pickham Challenge closes every Saturday at 7 p.m. I hope you get lots of EP this week. That's it for our fifth episode of Weekly PJS, and see you next week. Bye bye.